Hey, good morning everyone. Chris from Real Greedy Fishing here and I'm going to talk about the five things I think you need to start catfishing from shore. Alright, let's get right into it. The first thing I recommend and the main thing I recommend you get is a spinning uh, surf rod setup. So this is number one. Reason why I recommend a surf rod, especially if you're fishing in for river catfish, uh, is because they can generally cast farther. They're much bigger rods than bass rods and, and smaller rods, uh, but they can cast heavier leads. So if you look at your specifications on your rod, it generally will tell you your lure weight, and that's the recommended weight, uh, lure weight that the company recommends you use with this rod. So it'll say on there, it'll say, um, lure weight, you know, two to six ounces. And that's, that's what I recommend is like a two to six ounce, uh, lure weight because you want to be able to, to use a heavier weight so it can just sit on the bottom. And I'll talk about that a little bit more later on, but you want to be able to cast a bigger weight out there so it can just sit there on the bottom and the current won't drag it away. Now, with your spinning rod, get yourself a nice spinning reel. It can be a little bit heavier duty because generally when you're fishing for catfish, you're not aiming for small catfish, you're aiming for bigger catfish because you're generally just letting your line and your rig sit out there and you're hoping a fish bites it. So you might as well hook up a little bit bigger setup and go for that bigger fish, use a little bit bigger bait. So get yourself a nice... Um, heavy duty spinning reel, like a, a nice surf reel. Uh, they make plenty of surf reels from 20 to 50 bucks. You don't need, if it's fresh, we're fishing for freshwater catfish, so you don't, it doesn't need to be mag sealed or, or saltwater sealed and all that. Just get yourself a nice little freshwater heavy duty spinning reel and you'll be just fine. Now, I like to use, and we'll, this is, this is the second part here. Um, I like to use braided line, and the reason why I like to use braided line is because you can cast it much further. The chan where we're fishing, the channel is, you know, a hundred plus feet out there. So we need to get our our rig. We need to get the, it out there in that channel where those bigger catfish are sitting. So braided line has a much thinner diameter. It's much easier to cast than monofilament. Monofilament is much thicker. You don't you can't spool as much of it on your on your reel as you can braided line. Um, it has a lot of stretch. Braided line does not. It has no stretch. Um, it's susceptible to abrasion, but you're just letting your rig sit out there. You're not casting it a hundred times. Your line isn't dragging over rocks and all that stuff over and over again. So use braided line when 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 fishing for catfish as your main line. Um, let's get into. I think this is number three. And that is your leads. Now, I was just talking about that with the surf rod setup. Um, this is a; these are two ounce leads. So these are this is the smaller end of the spectrum for a river if there's not much of a current that day. Um, I recommend getting this no roll inline lead. Uh, you can use a pyramid sinker, but uh, let's let's just talk about this one. Um, as you can see here, there's a hole on either end. So your line actually goes through the lead called an inline lead and it's flat, which means it's a no roll sinker. So it'll just sit there on the bottom. And if you use a, if it's a heavy current that day, then use a, you know, use a four or five ounce lead. Um, but this one usually works just fine. If there's not much of a current that day, there's no wind, whatever. So the line goes through your lead and generally for your Carolina rig, it'll hit a bead and that protects the knot that you tie to your number, what is this number? One, two, three, number three, no, number four, uh, to your barrel swivel. So the barrel swivel will help you uh, easily connect your braided line to your monofilament. And like I said, it goes from your your lead to a bead which protects your knot on your barrel swivel and you tie your braided line off and the other end of your barrel swivel you tie your monofilament. And you I recommend using 
a you know 20 to 30 pound mono you can go heavier if you're fishing for the more trophy catfish but if you're just starting out use 20 pound monofilament leader it works just fine at the very end of that and the last thing that i recommend is your circle hooks don't skimp on your hooks eagle claw has a whole rack and and 20 different shelves at dick's sporting goods you know bass don't don't just don't get some nice hooks because when you're fishing on the bottom you're gonna hit those snags and I've had so many when I first started fishing uh, freshwater I've had so many I always bought these like cheap eagle claw hooks that come already pre snelled and all that Ugh. I've had so many of them break just snagging up a twig or something like that don't skimp get yourself some decent gamagatsu circle hooks I know this pack runs about five bucks uh, it's a little bit pricey but don't skip on your hooks. Trust me, it makes a world of difference. If there's one thing, you can buy the cheapest setup of any of this stuff, buy the cheapest monofilament, buy the cheapest braid, buy the cheapest leads you can find. You can get a cheap spinning reel, a cheap surf rod. Just don't skimp on your hooks because they, they make the, a world of difference, especially when you hook a bigger fish. Because with catfish, you put, I mean, Ed has had, he's caught a 20 pound catfish on a little tiny piece of worm. I mean, you're in your you you think you're fishing for a smaller catfish because you you got a little little tiny bait on there. Um, a big catfish could still bite it. So, get yourself some nice circle hooks. Circle hooks. They set themselves. You don't have to set the hook with a circle hook. So the 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 your bait will be you know floating there, going through your line. It looks all natural. The catfish bites it, and it starts to swim away with it and it sets the hook on itself all of a sudden you'll see your line your rod bends like Ooh, it's that 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 feeling that you want what you want to see and that's the fish it's already hooked up all you have to do is start reeling it in and circle hooks are great they have a nice little wide bend at the bottom so you can put a nice big perch or bluegill on the bottom and still have room to um, have the fish bite it and set the hook on itself so you guys, catfishing is very easy. They're very greedy. You don't need the best stuff for catfishing. Um, I recommend if you're going to fish for trophy catfish, get a little bit heavier duty gear. But if you're just going out there to have some fun with your friends, get some cheap stuff. You can probably get all, you know, your whole catfishing spinning setup for 50 bucks. Um, you can go less than that, but then you start to, you know, like skimp on your hooks and stuff. So plan to spend around 50 bucks if you're just getting into it it'll it'll you'll catch big catfish with that um, so if you want to see more of these videos we're definitely going to put a lot more fishing videos out in the spring once season comes around but if you like this video give it a thumbs up um, if you have any questions at all about rigging up your rig for where you're fishing at just send me a message or put it in the comments, say, I'm fishing at this location, what do you recommend I use? And I'll, me or Ed will respond right away. Hit the subscribe button so that you get a notification when our next fishing video comes up. And I hope you guys have tight lines. God bless and take care.